Hey Twitch Rocksmith streamers, Boom So Much here with a tutorial on how to use Twitch Channel Point Redeems for song requests in RS Playlist. Now before I start the tutorial, let me show you some of the things you can do with it. Because you might be wondering, like, why is this even a good idea? It's just as easy to type exclamation point request, band name, song name, as it is to click a Channel Point Redeem button and type band name, song name. There's actually a bunch of benefits to doing it this way. First of all, a lot of streamers complain that sometimes people just pop into their channel, make a request, and then leave. Okay, so you charge a couple hundred points for a request. Now they have to hang out for a while, get the vibe of the channel before they can make that first request. Now I currently have my redeem set to one point, which is basically free. So I'm not using it for that, but I can do a bunch of other things with it. I can tie other events to it. I can have a lot of things happen when someone makes a request. Let me show you what I mean. Hey Cowboy, can you do a request for me? Just request any Van Halen song. Okay, so here comes a request. SpongeBob comes up and blows his little whistle. My song request list pops up on screen. The train pops up, the requester, there's Mexican Cowboy. He he becomes the engineer of the train and everyone moves down a, 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 a wagon. Um, there's other ways to get on the train. You can follow, you can get shouted out, you can, there's a bunch of, the train, we'll talk about the train in another tutorial. But when someone does a request, they get on the train. Also, I'm not sure if I like this here, I might change that, but the requester gets put on my UI. I might want to make a special thing for most recent requester. And their, um, their avatar gets put on the UI, and I'm counting how many times that person made a request. When the train gets out of the way, you'll see there's a number one under that avatar. Now, I may not want to have that on screen, but I'm tracking it. I could do something with it. I could set it so anytime uh, a person does their 10th request, something special happens or, or whatever. The point is I'm tracking the information. So you may not want to do any of that. You may want to do completely different things, but the point is you could do whatever you want anytime there's a request. One last thing that's pretty cool, you could automatically change the price during the stream. So if it's a big deal to, to get the first request of the stream, you could set the first request at 50,000 points or whatever, and then have the next request automatically be less and be less and be less or have the first request be, be cheap and have it go up in price as the stream goes on until no one can afford it and the stream ends, whatever you want to do. Or you could set it so every five subs, there's a discount in, in the price. There's all sorts of things you can do and just have it done automatically during the stream. Okay, we're finally ready for the tutorial. All you need is OBS, RS Playlist, and Streamer.bot. Let's start with your RS Playlist settings. So in the General tab, you want it enabled, you want it on. And then under the request tab, you want the request module on, but you want all of these unchecked. So that way no one can request. Your moderators can always request and your bot is one of your moderators. So that's how we're gonna sneak it through. The bot's gonna make the request, you'll see in a minute. We, we wanna block it for everyone else. Everything else just, just leave as normal. Now let's get into streamer.bot. I'm going to try to go pretty quickly through the basic setup. There's other tutorials out there. So let's bring it up. This is what the, the bot looks like. And we have to connect it to OBS. So under stream app tab, you see my OBS is connected there. You just right click, click add, and uh, uh, just put in the WebSocket information. If you're on OBS 28, you want to use version 5. And again, there's other tutorials. I don't want to spend too much time. But you know you have it connected right if when you click on it, you'll see what scene you're on. It'll know what scene you're on because you're connected. The next thing we have to do is connect the bot to Twitch. So we go to Platforms, Twitch, Accounts, and I'm already logged in. But if I wasn't logged in, this Log Out button would be a Log In button. So you, you make sure you're logged into Twitch. You go to actually go to Twitch, log into your main account. Click the login button, it'll connect you. Then go back to Twitch, log into your bot account, my bot is Boom's Pet Monkey, and log that in, and then they'll both be connected. So now we're gonna make the action. The action is what we want to happen when someone puts in the request redeem. In general, the way to think about streamer.bot is actions and triggers. Remember I showed you that train before and said there's a lot of ways to make the train happen? Well, the train is an action I have in here and I have triggers, like when someone follows on Twitch or subscribes or whatever, triggers an action or tri that will trigger the train. So let's go to our actions. So these are all the different categories of actions that I have. I have a lot of actions. Here's, 
Here's all, here's all of my redeems. But just to keep it simple, let's make a brand new action for this redeem. So to make a new action, I right click here, click add, and I'll call it request demo. I won't put it in any group. We'll just let it be by itself. Don't worry about any of these other settings. And here we have our new action. And now to tell the action what to do, we create these sub actions. I know this is a kind of complicated tutorial, but this part, at least this part's easy. There's only two sub actions under the, under this action. So you right click here and it's under Twitch user, get user info, info from target. And this box pops up and we want the source type to be user. Now all that does is it just goes to Twitch and grabs the information about the, the person who made the request, the person who put in the redeem. The second sub action, again, we right click, go to Twitch, chat, send message to channel. We want the message to come from our bot, not from ourselves. And the message you see here, what this does is it has my bot type this into the chat, telling it to CocoBot. And since my bot is a mod, CocoBot will take the request. So what will show up in chat will be exclamation point request. It won't say raw input. It will say whatever the requester put in, the band name and the song name, and then the at target user. That tells CocoBot to put in the request for the user, not for, the, not for my bot that typed it. That's why if we bring up the song list, list. Here is your list, Mr. Boom. The request shows up from Mexican Cowboy, the person who did the redeem, and not from my bot who typed it into the chat. So that's it. With this action, Boom's pet monkey, my bot, types the request into chat where Coco gets it and puts it on the list. But there's one problem. There's nothing to trigger this action. How does the streamer.bot know when to do this? I have to create the redeem. And we do that in streamer.bot. Don't create the redeem in Twitch. You have to create it in streamer.bot for it to work. So we go back to our platform tab. Go back to Twitch and go to the channel point redeems and create our redeem. Right click. I'll call it quest demo. And the prompt will be the message that you want to have there. Should be over so you can see it. Please type in and name something like that and here's the key is the action at the bottom you choose the action that this does and our action is request demo see how this this ties it all together oh one more thing before you click ok make sure to click user input required that makes it so that the person could put in the band and the song name now when we create this as soon as I did that in Twitch, if you click the, the button, there is a new button there, request demo. So now let's check Twitch chat and there should be a new, there it is, request demo. So I click it, please type in band name, song name. And the monkey, my bot, requests request it on behalf of me. So now if we look in the song list, list. Here is your list, Mr. Boom. It's on the list and it's not the bot's name, it's the requester's name. Oh, and just really quickly, let me show you my, my actual request command just to show you how you add more things to it. So my head out of the way again. Uh, you could see the first two lines are the same as the one we built together. But then I have the, the tricks that do my train, uh, do the counting, do the counter, pop up SpongeBob, pop up the, the list that popped up. So you can see you just add more things to it and then you do whatever you want. Now before we wrap up, there are a couple of quick downsides I have to address. One is I have to time out CocoBot in the channel, otherwise he says things that aren't, aren't right. Because of the way we set up uh, RS Playlist, if someone types requests in the channel, it says requests are turned off. Well, requests aren't turned off, we move them. So I set up a command in the bot, so if someone types request, it says requests aren't off, 
please use the redeems. But meanwhile, Coco is still saying requests are off, so you have to you have to time out Coco. Another downside is none of the restrictions that you might have set up in Coco Bot will apply, because technically your bot is making the request and your bot is a mod, so your bot could do anything. So if you have a blacklist of songs and bands that you don't take requests from, or, or don't take requests for, those requests will go through. So you deal with it in the, in the way you dealt with it before the blacklist. If someone requests it, you say, hey, I don't play that. Sorry, I'll play something else for you. There might be a way to integrate it so that the streamer.bot checks the blacklist in ours playlist, but I haven't figured that out yet. So for now, you don't get your blacklists. So another question you might have is, well, what if someone spends a bunch of points on a song request and then I don't play the song? Well, it turns out in your Twitch dashboard, you can actually refund points. You could actually even make it a dock in OBS, so right from OBS you could just click if you don't want to play some, someone's song and give them their points back. I think there might even be a way to automate it through streamer.bot, but I haven't figured that out yet. If someone's figured that out, let me know in the comments. Another option, and I think maybe the better option, is just no refunds. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, you make a request, you click the button, you spend your channel points. Um, if I don't have that chart, I'll play something else by the same band or by a similar band. You know, just sorry, it's a request. You're, you're not paying to get the song, you're paying to make the request. You paid your channel points, you made your request, I'll do my best. So that's it. I can't wait to see what y'all do with this. If you have any questions or anything else that you'd like to see a tutorial about, please let me know in the comments. And please like and subscribe.